everybody, Hilton Yam here of 10A Performance, back here in the 10A Performance Lab. If you are having trouble training right now because you can't get out to the range because it's locked down for the apocalypse, or you're just having trouble getting ammo or reluctant to burn through your uh, precious stash of ammunition, I hear you, I feel you. Got a solution for you. It is the next level training shot indicating resetting trigger training pistol or cert for short. Stay tuned and we'll talk all about it. The cert S-I-R-T, shot indicating resetting trigger, uh, is an inert training pistol. It's a non-gun. It has a uh, number of features which I really like as far as making it an ideal training tool. Uh, first of all, it is not a gun. It has a self-resetting trigger, which gives you an ability to dry practice with a resetting trigger, which as you know, with a semi-auto pistol uh, is kind of a well, you can't do it because uh, you have to manually cycle the gun and uh, there's a lot of other issues associated with that. Uh, it is not a conversion kit. It's obviously, as you can see, a standalone training tool. So you don't have to worry about uh, taking apart your carry gun or, or one of your pistols and perhaps dedicating it to a conversion kit for a laser or a resetting trigger or CO2 system or what have you. Uh, this is your whole training device. So you don't have to worry about that. Also because it's not actually a gun and therefore incapable of firing ammunition, you don't have to worry about the uh, safety issues that come with uh, putting a conversion unit inside a live firearm. So while you should obviously handle it with the appropriate firearm safety rules to burn in the proper habits, uh, the issue of it accidentally having ammunition inside it or any of those other concerns with using a live pistol for dry practice uh, are essentially eliminated because, again, this isn't a gun and it can't fire ammo. The cert comes in a number of different forms. The version that I keep waving around here obviously is a Glock 17 size and shape. It's the model 110. Uh, you can get it with a plastic slide, the Performer variant, as you see here. And also there's metal slide variants uh, if you want a little bit more weight or need the additional durability for whatever training purposes that you have. Uh, you can also get one that's shaped like an M&P, uh, like a SIG 320. Uh, there's also a pocket pistol version, and then there's a couple different versions of uh, methods to train in AR-15 type format. Uh, there's a bolt replacement, and most recently is the stick, uh, which is basically a uh, chassis to plug in one of these guys into uh, the top half of what is kind of like an AR. Uh, so a lot of different ways that you can train, and uh, with all the different models, basically your imagination is the limit for how you want to train with the one of these. How does the CERT work? The main features on it are, of course, the self-resetting trigger, which is adjustable for a number of parameters, but you really don't need to mess with it. I, I have experimented with it, and um, you can increase the weight, change the travel, but if you don't want to do those things, it's ready to rock right out of the box. There are two lasers on it. There's a shot indicating laser and a take-up laser, a trigger take-up indicator essentially. So if you are pressing the trigger uh, during the take-up, it will light up that laser and it is a good uh, training tool if you are trying to achieve certain objectives as far as uh, doing trigger reset at appropriate times. And as an instructor, it is a great asset as well because you can put a student on the cert and uh, in addition to watching their finger for trigger reset you can see it on the target as well so it makes it really easy for you to use as an instructor the shot indicating laser though is the key uh, every time you press the trigger uh, you'll get a shot indicating laser if you press the trigger straight to the rear and hold it uh, the shot indicating laser stays on so if you want to torment your cat or whatever uh, you can use it for that um, but the point on that one is when you are doing your dry practice, uh, your goal is to get short dashes or pulses of light on target, meaning that you're breaking a crisp shot, you're releasing the trigger immediately and resetting it. And if you want to see your reset uh, to 
take up. So basically you're prepping the trigger, breaking the trigger, and then taking it up again to prep for an additional shot. Uh, you'll be able to see all of that indicated on target with the lasers, uh, if you so choose, by selecting the, uh, having the additional take up laser on. Uh, I usually train with mine off uh, because I, I obviously I know uh, what my finger's doing and what I'm looking for. Uh, so those are the different options for running the cert. And again here, let's take a quick look at the video here. When you are getting a good quality trigger press on the CERT, you are going to get a short pulse versus a smear or a long line, which means you are holding, pinning the trigger to the rear. Uh, potentially, if you're getting a, a bunch of shapes, perhaps, uh, as a right-handed shooter, you're getting a smear that goes off to your left or low left. That means you're imparting a whole bunch of movement to the gun uh, as you press the trigger, uh, more likely smash the trigger. So if you see a nice crisp dot appearing on the target, a blip, if you will, uh, a dash, if it's in Morse code, uh, but uh, if you see that nice short uh, pulse of laser light on the target, you're getting a good trigger press and a uh, aggressive reset of the trigger for your next shot. How do you use the CERT? How do you incorporate it into training? If you've been following on my Instagram uh, over the years, uh, you'll probably have seen at least one or more uh, workouts where I incorporate the CERT. Uh, I like to uh, put that into the PT regimen uh, so that uh, I can have it right there uh, next to me in my uh, garage gym. Uh, hit a circuit and then insert uh, some kind of uh, drill with the CERT. So I've got uh, the elevated heart rate and uh, some sweaty hands and basically just smoke myself and then uh, do some work with the cert so that I have to focus on my trigger manipulation uh, while I am under some pressure. And that is uh, an excellent training because uh, if you're not able to perform the mechanics of marksmanship under stress, then, then what's the point of all the training? Because if you figure you're going to be relaxed when you need to use your marksmanship skills, no matter what your context, whether it's uh, competition, tactical, or uh, defensive purposes, well, you are sorely mistaken. So you can add a little bit of pressure with some PT, and it's one of my favorite applications. One of the other things that works out really well is you can uh, leave the uh, cert out uh, perhaps on your desk or something, uh, if you have a, uh, in your office, assuming you work, well, now we're all working from home. Uh, this is being filmed in late 2020. Uh, so you can have this out and uh, again, making sure that you have safe handling practices. You don't have another firearm, uh, lying about near it. Uh, but if you have just the cert lying about on your desk in between, uh, zoom meetings or whatever, you can get a couple reps in, uh, with some dry fire targets or just whatever household objects you've got, uh, in front of you. And, uh, then you've got some reps with basically no set up and no tear down. So you basically just uh, pick this up, run a couple trigger presses, and there you go. The last application that I like to do uh, is live fire augmentation at the range. You're like, wow, Hilton, you know a lot of big words. Please stop using them. If you have a limited amount of ammo, which is all of us these days uh, with the market the way it is, you can take your cert out to the range. And uh, especially if you're running, I mean, who doesn't have a Glock? All right. If you don't have one, go get one. I've got, I've got a few and you can't have any of mine. Take this out and you say you set up a drill, whatever it might be, uh, run it a bunch of times first with this, all right, run through the drill with the cert and then throw it in, uh, with a live fire rep. So then run a live fire rep and see how that feels. And then if you have, uh, some, some issues, things that you want to tune up and fix, run some more reps with the cert and then uh, hit it again live fire. So something as simple as, hey, doing a bunch of draws, uh, do a bunch of draws with this first and then do some live fire ones and then switch back and forth. So you can get a pretty full range session uh, with a lot less live ammunition burned down. Uh, get your money's worth out of the range session and a lot of reps in uh, by substituting this in for some of the repetitions. So if you're checking out this video thinking, oh man, I need a cert. Well, go to nextleveltraining.com and use coupon code 10-8P and get 15% off your order. All right, so uh, 
get your own because you can't have mine. All right, uh, good stuff. I've been using them for a long time. Also, I got to put a disclaimer in. I am good friends with the crew at Next Level Training. Uh, I'm a believer in their training concepts and what they do. Uh, they do uh, really good work over there. Uh, I think you are going to really enjoy it if you pick up a cert and roll it into your training regimen. If you have been enjoying the content, like, subscribe, tell all your friends to like and subscribe and bring them on over here and keep this channel growing. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your support. Uh, if you also want to show a little more support, you can uh, help us keep the lights on over here at this free channel, which is not a charity. As many of you like to remind me, uh, the merch, a little, little bit of hat action here, uh, various shirts that you can check out on the web store to show that you are uh, supporting the 10 -8 performance way. Uh, you can also go get some stuff for your pistols. The cert that you see here has 10 -8 performance sights on there. Isn't that cool? Uh, they, they fit right into this pistol. And, uh, you know, whatever else you might fancy for your training regimen, downloadable targets as well, uh, all kinds of stuff. Go check it out. Also check out the training section to see if I am coming to a location near you or if you want to come to a location near where I'm going to be. Uh, I don't have a very uh, wide reaching world tour schedule, uh, but go check it out on the, uh, on the website and come out and train with me. All right. Until next time, remember, I'm Hilton Yam of 10A Performance, and only performance counts.